Here is my Lego Technic Ixia Northerner ETV Extreme Terrain Vehicle. It's really just a tracked version of a fictional SUV. But it's not tracked in the normal way with four tracks, but with one per side instead of two. This is what it looks like. The headlights are remote controlled. The hood can open, revealing nothing. There is a room for something, like an engine, but I didn't want to add to the weight and the top heaviness. Door is also open, and the tailgate opens with a simple little lock. A bed at the back, and a cooler little cage. I really like how I did the top here with the X. It had to be attached by rubber bands at each corner. The winch. Pull out a little knob here, down there. The winch is inside these two to ensure the string goes straight. It's controlled by a media motor with 24 to 1, the one, 24 to 1 or a gear reduction. So let's, now that I pulled it out, I can pull this string manual to reconnect the winch. But there it goes. And if I hold it, it will slide this. It is very effective. I've gotten it all the way up to the couch using this in the drive. Suspension. Here's what, this model has what I like to call double bar pendular suspension. So it's like pendular suspension, except that because there's a second bar above it, the track will always stay parallel to the ground, which is important for a track vehicle. It's got XL motors, one for each sprocket, so two at the front, two at the back. They're wrapped in serene wrap to keep them dry when I drive, drove it in the snow. It's got portal axles. These road wheels here also have suspension using small orthodontic elastic. I was driving using four XL motors, which also involves good steering. Let's see what can be done with the winch. String going up here. Drive in the snow. The system is not good. And one hand control is not that good. deeper snow. Overall, 
this model was pretty fun to make. It was interesting to make my own vehicle, and especially interesting to try a tracked vehicle for the first time. 